Hi my friends, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, this week I'm going to paint a lovely beach scene. Now there has been a bit of a mix up. The scene I showed on my Facebook page was um, this one behind me here in front of the camera. I'm going to turn it around and show you. This is the one I put on my Facebook page during the week, okay? Um, that's actually on Patreon, okay? Uh, it's not on this regular youtube uh, tutorials so it's over on patreon if you want to go and take a look you'll be supporting me in a big way um and there are lots of tutorials there for you to try okay and this is there also so that's over on patreon um a few of you might have thought that this was this week's tutorial but it's actually not i'm painting something similar along the same lines anyway for this week um, another beach scene with some lovely clouds in the sky, rich dark clouds in the sky, that kind of thing. So something nice as well, just something similar. But, you know, um, that's a real eye catcher, but that's over on Patreon. If you want to go and support me, I'd really appreciate it. Just pop over and take a look anyway and see what you think. So, on to this week's tutorial. Lovely beach scene. I have my palette laid out here, my canvas ready, 16 by 12 canvas, and primed. So let's go and have a bit of fun with this. Um, lovely clothes, but also lovely movement in the grass, okay? Um, let's try it and see how we get on. Okay, here we go. There's a reference photograph now. That's lovely, isn't it? Nice, rich kind of a sky and everything. Um, right, what I'm going to do is, I have a lovely primed canvas here, and I'm going to put a bit of masking tape across where I think the horizon would be. Now, on the photograph there, it looks like it's about halfway but it's not a good idea to put something halfway because it just doesn't balance the painting nicely um i'll go slightly below halfway with this okay let's get a nice bit of acid tape out here now and let me just find i'm going to find roughly the middle point and then come down a little so i suppose um it's like 60 40 on the sky uh i, I could go up higher but I'm not sure if that will work. Um, let me just go roughly. Now this is just a very wild guess. One way of checking, if you want to use a big print brush like this, um, just go to the top of your canvas with the brush and roughly where you think it stops. So it's just up past the hair. If you do the same at the bottom, you can see that's where the top was. So we are down below the center, just a bit. Just a little tip. Now, let's crack on. Let's have a bit of fun with this. My colors, titanium white, Naples yellow, cadmium yellow pale. Let me just make sure that's cadmium yellow pale because a lot of people are asking, which cadmium yellow is that? Cadmium yellow pale hue. They're very, very similar, okay? They're almost identical. A cadmium yellow here. They are all actually pretty much almost the very same okay phthalo blue burnt cyana burnt umber there's a bit much on that but what um, a little alizarin crimson some cadmium red i don't know if i need it but i just like to have it there and some black lamp black there are some nice colors i think we can work with let's start and crack on with the sky so what i do basically with the skies is i put in my background all my background color all the way so you can see on the photograph, it's a dark blue down to very pale whitey blue. So let's just start doing it. I'm going to take my large stubby brush. Um, by the way, if you're trying to get these off of me, I've had to stop shipping for a little while um, because the shipping is very unpredictable lately and some of the brushes are just not getting to their destinations and it's really getting frustrating. Um, Particularly if somebody buys, say, uh, three sets of brushes, I then have to send off another three sets, um, which is not cost effective. So I've had to stop shipping. Shipping is very, very poor lately. Lots of people not getting packages. So I've had to stop it just for a while because it's just not reliable yet. Let's take a large stubby brush. I'm going to take some white and a little drop of turpentine. So I have turpentine with linseed oil here, okay? Just a drop of linseed oil. I'm going to take some phthalo blue and with the oils the principle really is to start with a thin mix and work thicker mixes on top so i always start with a very thin mix 
okay not watery but in a nice creamy kind of a consistency all right then i'm going to take a little hint of crimson let me just have a look at this now that's a nice medium color there i think it needs to be slightly warmer i'm going to go for more crimson in this sky i think this time um i'm not going to make a lot of blue in the sky i want it to be a nice warm blue okay so i'm going to go like this and then in a moment i'm going to darken the top of it okay i'll darken the top then so you can see now i'm really dragging this very thin mix across my canvas okay and you can really see right through the paint onto the grain of the canvas that's how thin the paint is so it is quite thin now a little white as well just to kind of make it that kind of pasty type of color just crisscross this the whole way just to get a nice even color all the way across then i'm going to start lightening this okay i'm going to just dip my brush in turpentine rub it on the tissue just to take off the bulk of that dark paint then go right into your white and you can mix it even into what's there already now i'm going to go with this nice soft color for the very bottom because we have a nice dark ocean then you see complementing that a little bit of phthalo blue and more white just to make it slightly darker just a little and if you find this too too kind of thick and it's not growing nicely just add a tiny tiny amount of thinners with the corner of your brush okay just a tiniest amount um i find people when they're especially when i'm giving lessons in the studio here um they dip their brush right in like this so what i do is i only just tip tip the corner of the brush just with the turpentine there it's that tiny little amount that's all you need to thin the paint just a little bit and just keep adding and adding until you have the consistency that you're happy with okay just don't take up too much turpentine at the beginning because that's the mistake a lot of uh, people will make they just pick up far too much turpentine and it gets far far too much wet and watery and it gets very messy then on the canvas right i have a nice layer there now i'm going to darken the top of that first okay i'm going to go with some phthalo blue a very rich color so just a little bit goes a far a far distance okay then i'm going to take some crimson then a hint of black very again very strong color so just a tiny amount you see tiny 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 amount then again some crimson because the black will try to force the blue overpower the blue so we don't want that i want it to be warm so a little bit of crimson with the black and the blue okay and just soften that in and it will soften into the color that's there already okay so don't worry now i'm going to go for a nice rich really warm plummy color plenty of crimson and plenty of ultra uh, plenty of phthalo blue okay plenty of both because i can see a lot of pink up in that sky there's a, a really a lot of pink in there so lots of crimson in this mix and then i'm going to soften it out as it comes down like so right across left to right soften that all in and just keep doing this until you soften it out all the way okay like that next thing i'm going to do is clean my brush again dip it in turpentine dry it on some tissue and i will really want to lighten this down here very very bright um so i'm going to take lots of white okay lots of clean white and the tiniest hint of cadmium red okay just for now i'm going to put that very bright color across the bottom here particularly on the left hand side it's very bright isn't it okay 
And then to create even more light, what I'm going to do is take another clean brush, all right, just a nice regular flat brush, and make sure it's nice and clean now, make sure there's no leftover paint in this from previous paintings, and there is inside this, so it's a little bit of a yellowy colour. Right, that's clean enough. I'm going to take some white, a little Naples yellow, and I'm going to pop that down there on the left, okay? Not too much look, just a hint. Because if you put too much of this in and you go too high, it'll mix with that blue and kind of go a greeny sort of a colour. So you don't want that. Now I'll take a little cadmium red and a little more Naples yellow in with that to make that a nice kind of warm sunlit type of a colour and that will really give us a lovely glow down in that corner you see and then soften it out and that's fine for me I think that's enough that's all I need and look you could even add a hint of cadmium yellow pale to this and that would really give you some nice bright brightness down in that corner Soften it in, just at the very corner, look. Okay. Let's leave it at that. Take off the masking tape. We don't need the masking tape anymore. And let's do some clouds, nice clouds. Lovely, lovely clouds. I'm going to start with the nice dark ones up here. So we have a very rich, dark, blacky grey kind of a cloud, don't we? Let me get some thinners because my thinners is gone. And I don't know if that's straight or not. You could probably see better on camera where you are, but it looks okay to me so far. Let me just take some thinners. And I'm going to get, again, a soft, flat kind of a brush like this, okay? It's just a splayed out kind of a brush. Let's make a nice colour for these. Thalo blue. Lizard and crimson. I'm going to go with, let me see now. Um, I'm thinking ahead because whatever colour I make here is going to start mixing with this blue, okay? So I'm going to go slightly with crim more crimson perhaps in this because I know once I put it on it's going to mix with that and start to lighten ever so slightly. So let me just try that. And I'm just getting generally just the shape of the cloud very, very, very loosely, okay? Now, as that comes down, I'm going to take maybe a hint of cadmium red into that. Just make it a bit more on the warm side. Because as it's coming down the sky, it's going to start getting slightly warmer. In fact, I might take a hint of burnt umber in that. Because there's a kind of a nice browny colour in the cloud. Just there, isn't there? Okay, so just like that, I'm going to do the same with this kind of a cloud over here. And I'm kind of just sort of dancing around, you see? I'm just allowing the brush to sort of dancing around. And one more, perhaps, that nice warm colour, perhaps just kind of coming in down here, flicking it across and dragging it out, okay? As clouds come down to the horizon, they sort of flatten like this. Do you know what I mean? So they really kind of flatten out. I am just kind of pulling these down, trying to create the direction of the cloud kind of swooping down in to the painting like this. Okay? That's what I'm trying to do. Um, I'm going to take a hint of black and a hint of brown. And I'm just going to go for a nice soft kind of grey, a very soft kind of pale grey, just for the very bottom clouds there, okay? Um, they do kind of soften out into a kind of a warm grey colour. Now I'm just going to, for now, just going to pop a little bit of that in just here and there. I'm just using the corner of the brush to sort of kind of flick it and add little touches. Okay, we can 
sort out all the highlights and stuff soon and I'm going to transfer that color then up here as well just to help complement the painting okay right I clean the brush very quick and I go back into my very dark color I had earlier so crimson and phthalo blue lots of those colors lots of both now I need more crimson uh, oh yeah there it is okay let's get more crimson now we've a very rich purpley color and let's go up here and sort of it's going to almost disappear up into that blue okay so i'm going to just let the brush look flick it around let the brush sort of dance around and it's disappearing into that color overhead and it's the same at this side then it's just sort of disappearing okay a little bit kind of flicking outwards here and there okay it's a good idea to stand back and have a good look and what i like is there's a nice dark area there as well so some crimson and some burnt umber and a little hint of black all right because there's, a, there's always there's a lovely dark warm color just kind of in the center of those clouds going up perhaps take a hint more of the black and here as well and perhaps a little on this one as well and i'll soften these then you see with the brush later on now i'm putting a hint of that dark color so i want to complement the painting and to head to composition i want to bring some of those colors down further as well okay that really helps so i'm transferring some of that color down here into some of these and that helps just bring everything together okay the next step now is i'm going to just kind of soften all this together just a little okay um, i start down here just where the clean area is and i'm just going to kind of soften out some of the brush strokes and i'm going to come up here and i'm going to very gently kind of flick it down i just want to kind of soften out the roughness of some of these make them nice and soft and they're disappearing up into that sky again over here now just give this a quick clean make sure the hair is nice and clean and drag this one across here at the bottom okay now let me have a look at that let me just have a quick look at that that's not bad i'm going to get a small brush and start putting in some highlights okay i'll use a small stubby brush wonderful little brush for this kind of work and i'm going to just take some white uh, a hint of naples yellow okay just a hint that'll just give me a nice bright white that's what we're looking for a bright white color and i'm going to just start giving a little light to some of these there's a little bit kind of popping through here and there um, just along the edges of this one as well and then what you do is you sort of soften the bottom edge into the cloud underneath you see allowing it to almost just kind of merge in to the cloud underneath just softening the edge do you understand now give the tip of your brush a good wipe every time you do this just to keep it nice and fresh then i'm just going to go along and add little fluffy clouds here and there Just off in the distance okay and you can do as much or as little of this as you like completely up to yourself i'm going to do a nice couple now down the bottom here it's just a suggestion that's all these are so far away you're not going to see any detail hardly at all okay they're really that far away It's only a suggestion then 
I'll go up and I'll just start adding little bits of light under some of these. Okay, and clean the brush again. All remember, clean your brush. Clean your brush very regularly. Okay, and I'm going to go up here and add one or two nice ones, nice and bright up there. Maybe one just along the tip of that. And I'm then going to take a nice warm colour. I'm going to take some crimson. So I'll take a tiny hint of crimson with white. And then a hint of Naples yellow, okay? And I'm going to put that very warm colour. It's a very warm pinky colour. I'm going to put some of that up here. Just sort of showing through some of these clouds and it's up there kind of bouncing around add a little bit to some of these as well so we're getting some natural kind of light popping through here and there okay I'm going to mix a warmer colour of that. I'm going to go with some cadmium yellow and crimson. And this is a really warm, warm, rich, warm pink, okay? And I'm going to go with this colour. Make it just a bit warmer, all right? Just up there. Suggesting just the light kind of catching in some parts. And perhaps a little just underneath this as well. I like that, that's quite nice. Capturing the light. And remember now you don't want to overdo this. Because you can very, very easily overdo all of this. I put a little bit of a warm colour on some of these. Now what I'm going to do is just soften some of these down. Just to take some of the harshness out of some of those lights, okay? That's all. Okay, now I'm going to take a soft brush. I'm just going to kind of soften those in as well, you see? So it's only just kind of catching some of the light. Let me just stand back now and take a look at this. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. Let me clean my small brush. and take some white I just want to increase the strength of some of these clouds here because I can see it in a lovely kind of puff of clouds just over there and I just want to accentuate that just a little bit more coming down like that There was just that little bit of there was a lovely cloud just, just around that area. I just want to get that light just a little bit more, okay? Now that's fine. That will do absolutely fine. Let me just soften those back in just slightly. And that, I think, is good enough now for our sky. Um, you could, if you wanted, to go that little, little extra bit more. Um, you could add a bit of darkness. Let me just get a small brush, small pointy brush. We could just add a tiny bit of darkness to some of those lower ones as well, if you liked. We could take a little bit of dark grey and just add a hint of darkness just to some of those. Okay. 
You see? Just to make some of those stand out that little bit more. But you don't have to if you don't want to, okay? Oh, there we go. Let's move on and do the water. Water, water, water. Okay, I'm going to take my brush I use for my sky. I'm going to mix now a nice dark, dark green, okay? It's like a dark emerald green. Some phthalo blue, little black, and a little cadmium yellow. Okay? And then just a hint of Naples as well. Now, you want a nice bit of cadmium yellow in this. It's really dark, but it's a rich, almost like a Perusian green kind of a colour. Does that make sense? Now, let's take some Naples yellow into that. That will just make it slightly more pasty. Let's just go along there like that. I'm going to take a hint of white and a tiny hint of phthalo blue as well, just to kind of blue it up just slightly. Okay, that will do for now. Then I'm going to take some white with some Naples yellow, soften that in down here. Okay, there's only a small bit of this showing as well, as you can see. So need a little bit of it. Then I'm going to clean that again and get some nice dark colour, some phthalo blue, uh, with a hint of black. And then it's going to go nice and dark over here. And again, this is just tinned up with a tiny amount of thinners. Bring that across like that. So it's nice and dark then over on this side. Okay. Then I'm going to take that same brush, give it a quick clean, and I'm going to lighten this side over here. I'm just going to take some Naples yellow with some white. And I'm going to drag that colour across, right across like that. Okay, then clean the brush and go back into that colour again. And then flick it out as it comes down. It's going to sort of just disappear. Now let's pick up lots of white. And we have lovely water coming along here. So I want to soften that, really make that very pale. And it even goes up. Maybe take a hint of phthalo blue. Right up at an angle into that dark, okay? Let me just straighten this one here, just a little. That's coming on now, quite nice, isn't it? Nice contrasting colour. Okay, I'm going to take some of that dark colour there, that dark, maybe blue with a hint of crimson, even. And I'm just going to go up here and put a very dark colour just across like that. Soften it out. So now we have all the dark kind of colour on one side of our ocean, isn't that right? Maybe a bit of black even, look. And I come down at a slight angle and soften it out. So that's a nice contrast there, that's quite nice, isn't it? Okay, I must get more phthalo blue and some white and I'm going to then bring up bring it bring this right down then and do the waves they're going to be really nice I'm looking forward to doing the waves okay I need some white now I'm going to just clean this brush I used okay my medium 
kind of a flat brush. So I'm going to then come down and lighten some of those waves, a bit of pink even. We'll put a hint of pink in down here. And maybe a hint of Naples yellow. Or a hint of burnt umber even. And it's kind of coming down then into the sandy colour you see. Now we don't want to kind of have colours conflicting in here. So I'm going to take some burnt umber. Just burnt, burnt umber is some kind of whitey colour here. I'm going to soften it up into that green, okay? Because we want to go from this greeny dark colour down to a sandy colour. Alright? So the burnt umber will help transfer from one colour to the next. You see? It'll really help. So next I'm going to do some nice waves. And I think probably the easiest way for you to try this is with your palette knife, okay? Um, now the waves are not really waves, it's just a very bright kind of lines going across. I'm going to take some white and a hint of phthalo blue. So I'm not going to go for a pure white and then I'm just simply going to start up here. You can see it kind of comes at an angle, doesn't it? Very slight angle, but I'm holding my knife horizontal, okay, all the time. And I'm just going to come down at a slight angle like that and just allow the paint to drag off, catch the canvas and drag off, okay? Now, give it a quick clean, go back into some fresh paint and let's try again. And that's just a nice way of creating some nice texture out there on the ocean, isn't it? So you can see it does actually give you the impression of waves breaking coming in. Isn't that lovely? Now as it comes down you can start being a bit more stronger with your um, strokes of the knife. Okay, So I'm going to take some of this warm pinky colour and some white. Okay. Because that will just help give it that little bit of a glow. Now, take some of that on the edge of your knife and come down here. We have a nice strong one. A couple of strong ones around here, don't we? So let's lean down harder and just put a lot more of the paint on as it comes forward down, yeah? So you can see I'm holding the knife still horizontal, but I'm dragging it down at an angle. Does that make sense? There. Now isn't that lovely? And that's all you need to do. That's all to keep it simple. I like to keep things simple on this show. Now I'm going to take a small pointy brush and some of that shadowy colour there, that browny kind of mauvey colour that we had earlier. I'm going to put a hint of that just under. We take a little tiny bit here, just under the front of that. Just that just helps to fine and sit the wave down ever so slightly. You see what I mean? And it just gives it that bit more impact. Would you agree? I think it does. So now, we're already down to our sand. Isn't this wonderful? I'm going to give a quick sketch of the sand and the grass turning like that. Okay, and then turns like that again. There, nice and simple. Then I'm just going to fill in this area with a nice sandy colour. Naples yellow. Burnt cyanide, little black, or sorry, little burnt umber. Okay, 
nice warm colour, maybe a hint of crimson as well. Go down here. This is all grass now, so I'm not too worried about that really, to be quite honest. Um, I'll just put a little bit of white into the colour there just this moment, just to soften it. I don't want it to be too rich because this colour has to disappear into the distance. You don't want to put a very rich colour on that. Okay. That's not bad. That will do, my friends. We're on to this. I'm going to do all this sand first, I think, and then do the grass last. Because the grass will be the, the fun part. Um, I'm going to take some Naples yellow and start perhaps with just some Naples yellow around there. And I need to get more. More Naples yellow. So, damp brush, more thinners again. We do go through a lot of thinners, don't we? But that's nice, that's a good thing. Now, Naples yellow, a hint of white even. Going for a nice bright colour down here. Let's just paint all that in. All the way, right the way across. And it's a very thin mix, okay? Because remember that thin over thick method? That's what we're doing, okay? Thick over thin. So thin layers, then thick layers. Now a little bit of that darker color around here. comes over then and goes off like that doesn't it now slightly darker color on one side so I'm going to use burnt umber with a little crimson and I'm going to use that as the darker side over here okay so it's sort of going over at a slight angle like that I'm just going to flick it down and then kind of soften it across. All right. Now I'm going to take that mauve color, slight mauve, and I'm going to go up here with that mauve, and I'm going to use that mauve to create a shadowed area up here, okay? And there's another little bit of it just here as well. Tiny bit over here. And you see, because I'm using a very kind of wide brush, it's just creating lovely texture already on the canvas without having to go to too much detail. You know what I mean? I'm going to put some of that mauve colour over here too. Okay, just like that. So it's very rough. And then I'm going to take a small brush and I'm going to take some of that mauve colour. So the mauve colour is a perfect complementary colour for this yellow as a shadow, okay? I'm just going to suggest a few of those little wiggles coming down. And they may even get slightly lighter as they come over. Let them sort of disappear off, up. A couple of them over here. Now this is only just the very early stages. Okay, I'm going to then go up and put in some of the shadows, proper shadows from some of these grasses to kind of pushing some nice shadows across, okay, and do the same with this one over here, and a couple on this one as well. Now we have a couple of shadows coming off these, 
as well just very slight shadows before i go across with that i'm going to take my soft brush okay and i'm going to just pull these across like so and i'm going to pull these downwards as well i just want to soften some of those outwards okay just want to soften some of the edges of those okay then i'm going to take with the same brush a nice clean brush i'm going to take some natal yellow and some white and i'm going to suggest some brighter colors just alongside some of those so just where some of the light might be catching on some of these and also i'm just going to refine some of those ones as well now i need to darken a little bit of this at the bottom okay i'm going to use a slightly darker color just to soften some warm tones up into that okay just a little and i can see there's a bit of a darkness down there as it softens up i'm going to soften that up with my brush okay so you see we're kind of changing things as we go we're constantly adapting and changing things around aren't we now i'm going to take a clean flat brush i'm going to go for some nice thick naples yellow with some white and i'm going to just put some of that nice bright color just to create some more texture on the sand okay you see um, particularly just along here there's a lovely ridge of it just there just to give it some extra texture you know what i mean and it does give it a bit more movement as well doesn't it and bring that across then through some of those highlights over there and some shadows um okay so i'm going to go across like that you see they're just building up upon this all the time building on it Okay, get some more of that darker colour. Maybe a hint even of burnt sienna in that. Go a bit darker in here. Another hint of sienna. I just want to warm that shadowy colour ever so slightly. To make it more of a warm, sandy kind of a shadow. Another little bit. And now I'm going to use the edge of this brush to keep give these nice sharp shadows coming across. There's one or two here as well I can see. So I'm going to just flick that kind of across. Like so. Okay. This will all make sense now very soon don't worry okay i'm going to leave it at that now just for now and i'm going to go in and do some of this grass okay 
I'm just start getting started on some of my grass. Right. Here we go. I think I'll use this for now and then I'm going to use my fan brush. Okay. So all this lovely grass now coming up. I'm going to start with a very rich, dark, dark, dark colour. All right. A very rich, dark green. So a rich, dark green is black and cadmium yellow. That will give you a rich, dark green. Now, if you want to warm this, which I do, I want to warm this to keep it nice and warm. I'm going to take some burnt umber. And that should make it nice and warm, okay? I'm going to go in here and a bit more burnt umber. Just keep adding to it as you need, all right? And it comes right up high, doesn't it? So let's go for this one. I'm going to flick it up like that. Okay? Now, you'll find that's mixing with the colour underneath and you might not get the warmth that you want. I'm just taking some burnt cyanide then. A little bit more yellow. I'm flicking it up and outwards. That's all I'm doing. Now I'm taking a bit more yellow. Okay, just like that. Then I'll go here again with this one. You see, it's just a bit of practice. Let's just take our time and mess around with this, see what we can do. Okay, let's get that nice rich dark colour there again. And we have a nice one just around here, where it's very dark. You can, if you like, leave that grass or that, that sand behind it dry a little bit, if that helps. Because you'll find the colours kind of mixing together, probably a bit too wet. So if that happens, just let it dry if you prefer, okay? Now, I'm going to get some nice warm colours. Cadmium red with some na cadmium yellow, actually. Cadmium red. And I'm going to put some nice warm colours. Then I'm going to get some really nice dark, dark, dark colour, okay? I'm going to take some. Um, let me get some more cadmium yellow on my palette just for a moment. I'm going to take some black, rich black, with a hint of cadmium yellow. So a very, even a hint of blue as well, look. Make that very black and green, okay? And I'm going to put that down just at the base here, okay? Let me take some burnt umber as well. So we're constantly adjusting the mixes. And I come over here, that's really dark there, isn't it? Just like that. A little bit more blue. And this now is what I'm using, just paint on its own, okay? Nothing else, just paint. A little bit there, like that. Again, let's go back into some dark colours. Some cadmium yellow, some black, some burnt umber. Lots of thick paint on my brush, and I'm going just like that, okay. Keep cleaning your brush, okay, because I don't want it mixing too much to the colours underneath. Now, one thing I do see is a lovely warmth, okay. There's a lovely warmth in there that I want to get. I'm going to use a fan brush. I'm going to go with a nice fan brush, and let me find a nice fan brush. I need a good one, something with some nice hair on it. Yeah, this is a nice one. I'm going to take some cadmium yellow. Okay, lots of cadmium yellow now. Some burnt cyanide. Even a hint of cadmium red. And I'm going to just put a flick of that colour just here and there, towards the front, where it may be catching some light, okay? 
You see what I mean? If you even go with some cadmium yellow on its own as well. And then some cadmium yellow with Naples yellow. Creating these wonderful grasses, you see. Isn't that lovely now? Really coming to life, isn't it? Just with the fan brush, it's so easy. So I'm using this side here, okay, like that. Okay, then when you flick it over, you're only using this corner, okay? Let me show you. You see? Isn't that lovely? And then, what I would do is to finish these off, they just take a little, very dark colour, a little black we'll say, okay? And I'm just going around the edges of those with some black, okay? Just to really... Let's take some burnt umber even. And that just really kind of sits them down, doesn't it? Now we have a bit of a curve on this one here, okay? Nice curve. On that I don't want to lose that curve okay like so and then I'm gonna take some of that nice color go down here then I'm gonna put some nice warm colors even let's take a little bit of that yellow and put a couple of little grasses kind of popping out here and there from those. You see, it's just kind of breaking up the shadow. Do you understand? Um, a couple along here. We have a nice little bunch of them just here, look. So give it a little couple of flicks out. And couple the opposite way as well. Maybe get some dark in there, just one or two. Okay, and one or two just so it's just to break up the sand, that's all. That's all we're trying to do really, break up that sandy area. Now what I'm going to do is, let me show you now, I'll show you what I'm going to do here with the shadows. I'm going to just take some of the shadow colour. So it was some of this kind of mauve sort of a colour we had. Some Naples yellow and some crimson. I'm going to take some of that nice mauve colour. And I'm going to pull a shadow just across like that, look. Out from the base of those. Now it's really very pale, okay? I'm probably doing it too dark, but I just want to kind of show you properly on camera. And very long shadows will really give you the impression of the sun going right down in the sky, okay? Going way, way down in the sky. So if you really bring our shadows right across very far, like that, you will really get that impression. All right, does that make sense? 
Now they're a bit strong, so I'm going to just lighten them slightly. I'll take some Naples yellow, all right, and just lighten them ever so slightly with some Naples yellow. And I'll even take some of that Naples yellow with white. And you could even go in between some of them with some bright colour. Now I'm going to go with some thick Naples yellow. And I'm going to go up here and just sort of cut off some of those shadows with this colour. We have a little bit of a ridge coming down here as well. Okay. So you can kind of see now it's starting to come together a little bit bit by bit, you know. Bit by bit. With some lovely warm foliage coming off of this one down here so cadmium yellow with cyanide i think is a nice color for this and that again will just break up those back ones you see okay fan brush and let's sort this out Cadmium yellow, burnt cyanide, and let's just give these some nice little grasses, just like that, okay? Then I'm going to go with some very bright ones, Naples yellow with white, and one or two bright ones. Just around the front here. I don't want to overdo this. Okay. And I'm going to do the same with that colour. Just in around here as well. Just to break up the dark area just ever so slightly. Just a little. Maybe catching lots of light in one particular part. So I'll take some nice yellow with white and just catching the light a little bit more than in other parts maybe one or two just around here so you can kind of get the idea i'm just kind of adding some very bright ones here and there Okay, let's stand back, take a look. And my friends, that's not bad. I mean, it's, it's a nice little representation of a nice little scene by the beach. And we get some black and just soften a little bit of black just by the shadow areas again, just to really deepen that a bit more, okay? And what I might do then is take some cadmium red with burnt umber and I might just go in around where that shadow is and just warm it slightly so that it almost merges into the shadow, okay? So there's no kind of solid line there. I don't want there to be a solid, solid line. I want it to just almost kind of soften in to the shadow area just a bit see just that little bit i think that helps and they'll also maybe strengthen the shadow as well just a hint and just drag it out ever so slightly look just very gently only 
only just a touch. And my friends, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I think that's what I've wanted to achieve. Um, I'm happy enough with that. I'm going to sign. Let's come down here and sign. And I tell, tell you, have fun with this. Um, all you can do is try, okay? I have a frame here, which I'm going to try. <sighs> Let me just get a frame here. Let's just have a look and see what it looks like with a frame. Because a frame makes all the difference to your painting, okay? It makes a world of difference. Now, and how about that? Isn't that just wonderful? And there we are. A nice little simple beach scene. Just kept simple, okay? Now, let me just soften out some of those darks. You can go around and do extra little bits yourself, but in general, I just wanted to show you how I would approach something like this, um, just very kind, of, very kind of loosely, okay? That's all I wanted to do. I might bring these up a little bit more, um, but look, in general, I'm, I'm happy enough. Let me just try and bring them up a little bit. So maybe on this side, with some yellow, and bring them right up, just that little bit higher, okay? And that's fine need to do thank you so much my friends I'll zoom in you see if I can zoom in and show you up close and there we are just kept nice and simple and I hope you've enjoyed that let me just move the camera here now so you can see myself um, okay Thank you so much. I've really enjoyed painting that. That was a lovely scene. Um, I, I love doing stuff like that. It's just simple but very eye-catching, I think, especially uh, painting with shadows. It's very, very eye-catching. So do try it. Let me know what you think. Um, do subscribe. Do subscribe, absolutely. Press the bell so you get notifications every time I have a new video, which is almost weekly. So um, I, hope you're I hope you're enjoying my tutorials. Thank you so much for your support. Pop up to Patreon, take a look, see what you think. Um, I really appreciate all the support I get, so it's very, very helpful. Thank you, and happy painting. I'll see you next week, my friends. Take care.